That's uh, the Nomad, uh, Nomad Outdoors podcast, and today's topic is GPS versus cellular. So I don't know. So your phone? Does your phone have a GPS? I, it has to, right? Yeah. But it's not really talking to satellites. It's talking to an antenna. And then the antenna is triangulation, tri triangul strangulating your, then your phone has to triangulate that location based on the antenna. I don't know. I, that's, uh, I mean, I could tell you shit from Shinola on that. I don't know how that works. But that being said, did some research. You know, I've been messing around with my G my GPS. I've got a handy dandy GPS here, and it says an image file, and a custom map. Yep. So I got a Rhino 655T, and I am I am carbon dating myself by telling you what it is. Um, we bought these a while ago, and we were using the integrated GPS radio to communicate with each other in the field because cell phone coverage wasn't so good. And now, cell phone coverage is, that's it. That's all there is, is cell phone. Gray Bear is running the Ox, also known as, look at all the turkeys over there, also known as the Onyx, but I call it the Ox. Okay, why are we stopped in the middle of the street up here, people? I don't Seem know. To be I bet the person some in the blue car is plenty of help for him. You know, podcasts, you know, if you're done in the studio, it's the are, uh, going away. Uh, so they must be good. <clears throat> okay, well, well, why did he... All right, we got to go. You let the jump box comes to the rescue again. Oh, yeah. I got one of them in my truck. They're the nicest thing in the world. Let's stop and jump start a car. Nice fellers that we are. You can take a, what do they say? You can take the, the woods out of the sheepdog, but you can't take the sheepdog out? I don't know. Yeah, I know. Uh, sheepdogs belong in the woods? Oh, is that what they do? Anyways, um, going back to our technology. So has, has the cell phone, is that is it pretty much like done away with the GPS? Do you know what it, are, are more people use? Because you don't, you don't even use your GPS anymore. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of old school, so I'm sticking with my GPS. But I haven't used it in a long time because I've been using the cell phone. And as long as you have cell coverage, you're good. You know, maybe somebody needs a GPS if they're, you know, in the middle of Montana somewhere hunting, you know, mule deers, and there's no cell towers out there. Uh, then you're going to need that GPS because uh, then you will get lost lots of new technology out there with the GPS's so we're you got the onyx you well, everybody's got Google Maps yeah regardless yeah. I mean so you're you're pretty happy with with the onyx then, right yeah yeah it, and I've, I've messed around with it I've, I've diddled with it myself <laughs> see I threw that in there um, so I diddled the onyx and uh, you know it's good so, Garmin sells uh, a thing called uh, Hunt Maps, and it's supposed to be almost the exact same thing as uh, the Onyx, but it's a one-time deal. You buy it, and, and then that's it. I, I think. I'm, maybe I have to do some more research. But you basically, you buy the either the download authorization or you buy the chip and then you load it into your GPS and it's supposed to have everything that the Onyx has and then some. The only difference is, is you're working off a of true GPS location and not cellular. You know where 
GPS location comes in good. You want to do it where that's at? Dog collars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where you want a GPS locator is on a dog collar. And I think that's probably one of the biggest, at least outdoors uses, is putting a GPS collar on dog collars. Yeah. You don't want to have to rely on cell phone coverage. It's what, you know, like cell phone's easy to. I bet this road's going to be slippery. Yeah. Charge up, no problem. Wider screen. You can um, call 911 with a cell phone, you don't with the GPS. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's like, you know, and yeah, it gives you cell, cell phone. You have to triangulate three towers, I think, to get you, to get your exact location to send out EMS or whoever you You know, and that's the other thing, too. Back in the, uh... Clinton days? Was it? No. It was after Clinton. Maybe it was Bush that did Bush it. Bush 1? I think it was Bush 2. Somebody went through and um, scrambled the GPS satellite system so that you could not have superb accuracy. And they did it on, pur on purpose for um, private use because they didn't want people to, you know, make their own Probably best to do that and not say it. Yep. And but it's still <clears throat> supposed to be within like three meters. I thought. Yeah, I think so. For, yeah. For for three satellites, I think that's or more. Uh, so, but it's pretty good. You you ought to be able to go. Uh. So I don't know. You know, I I don't. I'm at a toss up whether I want to spend the ninety dollars for the Garmin Hunt Maps. Uh, which gives you satellite imagery, gives you uh, landowner, private land, public land. Um, I do like the tracking on the GPS better than I do the Onyx. Um, but I don't have, I don't, I, I'm only using the laptop version of Onyx. I'm not using the handheld. But that all being said, Tell us what you're using. Are you using your phone? Are you using GPS? Are you using Bright Eyes? Because the go-to is orange tape. That is the go-to. If you've got the high-vis orange tape, that is about the oldest school that you could go. Take a step up, go to Bright Eyes, in and out. Nobody even sees them unless it's dark time. And some nefarious individual pulls them all out of the tree so you get lost. I don't know who would do that, but... Um, how many? Uh, how many of using the Onyx? How many of are yeah. using just using Google Maps? Yeah. Who's using something different? Yeah, I got. Uh, I have downloaded had the, the latest app that I got was uh, the Moon Times, the Moonstruck, I think it is, or I, I'd have to. I don't know. Where's my phone? At? Oh, let me tell you what it is. Um, it's not very interactive. I don't. I don't. I'm not really happy with it. You know, it's only twenty-five bucks for a year, so I didn't. Not too early. Uh, Moon Guide. Uh, look up Moon Guide. It's an app. Buy it at the App Store. Um, basically, it tracks uh, the, the the movement of the moon, and it tells you uh, when the deer are going to be moving and where you theoretically should be. Um, and you would think that, oh, yeah, no mad outdoors. If you got that, you guys should be like whacking and stacking them. Yeah, well, that, that ain't working so well for us. Tells you the moon time. Tell you where they're here. Well, it it tells you whether they're whether to hunt near a bedding area, a transition zone, or a field edge. Well, we have no field edges, and we're not really quite sure what they're doing for bedding out here. So, it's one big twisted spaghetti soup of transition area and that's pretty much what we're dealing with but more so I'm using it when it's telling you when the deer are going to be moving that day now you may not be in the right area but at least you have an idea when the deer are going to be up and moving you did, you know, based on the moon it's a great book it's called Moonstruck look that up read the book um, we've talked about this over and we always talk about it so much that you guys are probably going Bleh! getting sick of hearing about it stop there no man outdoors so our little uh a little podcast this morning a little bit on technology 
what we're using in the woods, what are you using. Um, I'm using both the GPS and my phone. We've got good cell, cell phone coverage where we're hunting, so it's doing really well. Um, the one thing that's nice about uh, Onyx that Google Maps doesn't have is that Onyx allows you to lay down a track so you know you know where you've walked and then it'll overlay it over a satellite image which is really helpful when you're trying to figure out you know what you're doing what you saw where Google Maps only allows you if you're logged into Google only allows you to save a waypoint and it doesn't it's not really interact I mean I'm getting better at it you know trying to put a label on it or make a note uh, kind of a pain in the ass uh, the GPS it's, it's pretty solid when it comes to tracking and marking waypoints. The only thing that it lacks is satellite inter imagery. And um, I don't know. I got to look at it myself right now because I want to see if it's... I've been having some glitches with it in the past. And I want to see if I can... You son of a bitch. Why do you do that? Well, there it is. This is part of the show. <laughs> well, it, it, I'm not exactly sure if anybody's out there and you have an idea how how Garmin lists their tracks. It doesn't look to be in alphabetical order, and it doesn't look like it it, it is in the the closest because I have close tracks that are here, and it's not picking it up. So it's not alphabetical, and it's not based on track. And there's no way to adjust it. That's what I don't like about it, because there's there's no way to, to, to look or refresh the, the, the list or the order so that you can um, look up a, a track and then mark it on the map so you can find it. Because it won't put the tracks on the map unless you ask it to do so. Oh, you want to you want to view on map okay view on map it'll do it but if you can't find your track that you're looking for then i don't know how to do it now the laptop everything's right there using base camp um garmin's uh, that one's that one's freeware that runs your gps um so there's another problem hey if there are any garmin techies that are out there watching maybe i'll have to put garmin in the, the search engine and oh, yeah. go garment piece of shit and then they'll look it up and they'll come in they'll comment on it I, I doubt it but I can try um, see if I can fix my glitch with finding tracks from my handheld unit um, yesterday I saved a track three different ways and could not find it in the saved tracks it's like nope nope not there not there not there not there so I don't anyways anything else to add on Fix your glitch. Do 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 do. Give your glitch a smack. Da na 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 na. No. Nice. You stepped in a crack. Da, pretty happy. Da, 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 da. Pretty happy with the hand. Your nice. glitch broke your back. Da na 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 na. na. When a glitch <laughs> comes along, <laughs> you must whip it. <laughs> Before your glitch sends you wrong, you must. The good thing it. I tell you, the good thing about Google Maps is that if you have a login, you use a Google login and then you share it with your hunting buddies, then they all. Yeah can interact with the map. I don't know if they can do that with Onyx. You definitely can't do it with Armin, Garmin. Um, anyways, yeah. that's it. We're going hunting. I wonder if HCO has that. Uh, 320. One area though, but I wonder how many people create a Gmail, share amongst their hunting compadres, yeah. and then you all use, you know where, so, and label your waypoints and say, I'm going to be hunting at the barrack stand and then yeah. another guy can pull up it pull up the account and go oh i know exactly where you are and then i turn on my own location and i know where i am relative to you and lottie dotty dotty lottie dotty free john Gotti. <laughs> but yes uh that is one good thing about google maps and maybe you can make some comments down below and let us know or don't make a comment and then we'll just you know it'll wither on the vine but it is it is very helpful to know where your buddies are hunting at and be able to get to them if the, if all you hear is i just got that <laughs> shot fire man down i remember one time my we safety were, belt bro <clears throat> we were dirt bike riding with uh, a good friend of mine and um, we had radios and we couldn't he wasn't behind us and we called him on the radio and all that we could hear was uh, uh, 
<laughs> uh, get, get me and, a nice coffin. Uh, me and Jer Bear doubled back to find Gray Bear fraternizing uh, uh, with uh, right. some young male in the woods. <laughs> a young bear? A young bear. I don't know if we want to go that far. No, he had. Uh, he he thought that he could Cracking drive. Snap. He thought he could drive through a tree with his dirt bike. And no, you can't drive through them. You have to go around them. Those handlebars get tricky when you're in the sand. Yeah, oh yeah. When you get up in the berm, oh, it's bad, bad, bad. But he told me what happened. I'm like, yep, been there. Know how it goes. I just didn't hit a tree. Anyways, um, off, off we go into the woods. Let us know what you think about technology, uh, GPS, maps, and Onyx, Garmin's. I don't like this road. Short and sweet, what did you see? Nada. Nada. Not even a squirrel nor a chipmunk. Didn't hear anything. Ah, can't hear anything. You wouldn't hear him anyway. Yep. Alright. That was it. <laughs>